so it is April, what day is it? Eight. And we're on a search for Tinkerbell because we can't find her. Did she cap in the bush? definitely calved in the wilderness back 40 we can't find the calf we have to look I found it oh, okay look right here sorry I gotta walk around all this bush it's right here I'm not sure if it's alive it's very wet it's alive it's alive Trigger me. So this is a little bull calf Tinkerbell had. We're not impressed because she's not even looking for him. She's not crying for him. She's probably not a very good mother. We're gonna pen them together and see what happens. It's a bull calf. If I didn't already say that, she failed to give me a heifer yet again. So sorry that was super sporadic. Now I'm back out in the field looking for Tinkerbell. We found the baby and we brought it up to the front of the property. We've just put it in with the goats, to be honest, for now while we figure where Tinkerbell is and if she's going to feed it. If you guys followed me from last year, you'll know that last year she had a little bull calf as well and she would not feed him. She completely hated him. So... Time's ticking, I really am hoping that she will like this calf, but judging by the fact that I don't hear her mooing or looking for him whatsoever, I feel like it's a really bad, bad sign. So let's go look for Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell won't come up. We tried to get her to come up. She went down in the deep, deep swamp. I'm on my way to the feed mill soon to grab colostrum to make sure this baby gets some colostrum in him. And hopefully she'll come up to eat hay with the cows soon. Or we'll be back down chasing her again later. Get a two for one special. See baby goats and feed the calf. You guys don't need this. I want you to stand and drink. <coughs> That's the healthiest thing you can do, buddy. Stand up. No, you guys don't need a bottle. Come on, get up. Get up, Mr. Moo. There you go. Thank you. Good. Come see me. Look at him. Oh, come see me. Look. Look at this. Yeah, he doesn't know that. <laughs> Look at this. Where's your video? I got one. You do it. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> you guys are on. Yeah, they're on record. Is it? it? It's recording from that camera up there so that yeah, they can see. Yeah, let's watch you do it. There you go. Oh, there you go. See? Oh, boy. There you go. Perfect. He's bottle fed already. Look at that. Yeah, right? Yeah, he's trying to butt it. See, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, turd. Yeah, Can you get back it. on on your own? Is he able to get enough out of that, or is the holes too small? here so we can see you <laughs> so just to recap this is Tinkerbell's calf she had him this morning April 8th today is supposed to be the day of the eclipse and everything and this is about the time that the eclipse is supposed to be coming so it's kind of a bit of a stress situation but he's drinking I went to the feed mill and got him claustrum. Tinkerbell has still not come up from the back, so we'll probably be headed back out there just try to find out if we can get her yet. So I squeezed the nipple on the bottle because I wanted to let the air back into the bottle. I'm going to use this to try to read what this ball says. So... I can't find the measurement, but I was reading there. Okay. 
So he started at 15 and he's down to under 12. Started at about a liter and a half. And he's going to be at. Oh! Come on, get back up. You can do it. Get up. Get up. Over here. Hey, I'm up here. I think he's getting a bit full. He's left one more. Oh, no, maybe not. You find something? Oh. I don't want him to drink too much and scour either. There's a little bit of powder in the bottle I just saw, so I am um, just giving her a shake to make sure that any of the powder that is left has been. Has been dissolved. I don't want them to get too, too much. Hi, Mita. Oh, yo, 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 one boy. Okay, so I fed him most of this bottle. I'm going to go in. The eclipse is happening. And I don't know. We're just going to hope for the best until we can find out where... His mother is, we'll just be feeding him colostrum. So, as you can see, I'm up by the lean to right now. Um, I'm heading back out to check for Tinkerbell. I'd finished feeding that bottle, as you saw, and I'm headed out to look for Tinkerbell again. I'm gonna take you with me this time. So this section of the video, I'm gonna voice over because I sped up the footage. This gate, the cows knocked over, and Mike was going to use it to pen Tinkerbell in. But obviously she didn't come up when we thought she would. Now we're headed towards the back, and I get to stop and tell the other cows that they didn't bring her up like we wanted them to. Then I tried to explain to Veronica in this next clip why she can't come back with me. I really would prefer you not to come back with me, Veronica, because it's wet back here. I know. I was back. You weren't as far back as mom and dad had to go to find Tinkerbell. Okay. But I still can come. I guess. So I didn't win that with her. She decided she really wanted to come. And I don't want to stop the kids from having experience on the farm. So off she went to help me try to find Tinkerbell. So we're coming up on the swamp now. I'm trying to look for a nicer way to get through all this wetness. Some of this area is a very thick bush and other of it is super swampy. It's really hard to make it through here. I keep stopping and scanning around for Tinkerbell and just trying to figure out what my best option is and how to keep myself out of the water as best as possible. Veronica decides to forge ahead and try to help me find better ways to get where we're going. 
So the branches right here, she decided we had to go through. And they were super thick. She thought she saw something, but she didn't. So then we decided we better turn around and go the other way again because it was getting super wet. She's really mastered this jumping from piece of grass to the next piece of grass. It's going well. But as you can see, it's super, super wet. Some of this is really gross in here, Veronica, and deep. So, my main goal is not tripping. My main goal is not dropping the phone in the swamp. And not getting stuck in here. Those are my two main goals. Not tripping. And getting the feet all stuck in me. Ripping my boot off. And Very valid worries because I lost a couple boots during this whole day process. We're almost at the dry land now. So there is that. No, we're too dry land. We're too drier land. Yeah, I said dry. We would have came to this section right there, but we branched off and circled that whole section. Of course, your dad's calling. Hey. I got a phone call, so I had to close the camera for a minute. But I'm back. Again. I think this is the group of bushes that Mike found her in. There, there's little... There's, there's yes, there's hoof prints everywhere, Bronco, because the ground is wet. And the cows walk through here. So me and Bronco continued to look in this area. Bronco was super worried about how many hoof prints were around and... She was worried that the cows were going to come to us, but I think they stayed up back laying by the hay bales. This is another really wet patch of grass there. Oh, I think she's laying, she's laying down over there. I found her. We know where the cow is now. Oh, she's getting out. Give her a wide berth so she walks up towards our house instead of away from our house. Um, bad decision. Of getting too close to her earlier and she just circled back. Bronca? Oh, she is going up home. Okay, just keep falling. Be safe. Don't fall in a mud pit. <laughs> Almost lost my boot. Okay, we're in the depth of trying to get Tinkerbell, so I'm gonna have to close the camera. I don't even know if I've got Tinkerbell in my views. There she is. Anyways, I need to concentrate on this. I'll tell you if I get her. Oh, so after a long time, we finally encouraged her up. I played a whole bunch of like calf crying sounds on my phone and walked halfway down to where she was. And all, of course, all our other cows being the caring people that they are actually went and then they all circled her and I kept playing it and then she followed them up. I guess she decided, well, cows are mooing, so there must be hay going out. And she came up, got some hay. We got we threw down some alfalfa. So there she is. But unfortunately the calf is over here crying for her and she still doesn't care. We're gonna try to get her to go through this black gate here. And then Mike will put the calf in there. Come on, Tinkies. Let's go girl. Put the calf on the other side, and I'll go chase her through. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Come on. Go on, Tinks. Shh. Come on. Come on, Tinkerbell. Stop her at that corner, please. Come on, Tinkerbell. Come in on her. I run that buck back in there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Get back in there.
I still don't think this is going to end well. As she doesn't even acknowledge him when he cries. But they're now locked into that pen. Mike's got to put something across to make sure they don't go into the mud pit over there. And hopefully she will take care of him. So thanks for watching. Um, I will be posting another video soon with more details on trying to milk Tinkerbell and everything. Um, so stay tuned for that. Bye.